Massive. You're on YouTube and we're playing Bioshock and... Uh, Defiance! That's a new MMO FPS that was recently released in 2013. I have not played Defiance once yet. So we're going to start a new game. Now Defiance is based uh, around the model where there's a TV show and a video game and they play off of each other. The video game affects the events of the TV show and vice versa. And your character has a chance to be featured in the television show. Depending on, well, what you do in certain missions and high score, something like that. You get the picture. Now, I've heard that people say the video game is leagues ahead of the TV show in terms of quality and enjoyment, but I haven't seen the TV show myself, so I can't say. The Voltons' arrival was more immigration than invasion. Peaceful attempts to integrate collapsed. The Earth was transformed. Extinction seemed inevitable. Inevitable, <laughs> until the Battle of Defiance. Human and Voton soldiers defied orders and united to save innocent lives. This valiant act inspired the belief that we must brave this new frontier together. Earth Republic Strato Carrier, New Freedom, West Coast Deployment. Hello, I am Commander McSirius, and today I'm here to tell you how serious I am, and grumpy, and serious. Listen up, people! We just passed the Golden Gate! We'll be on site in less than 20! My voice is unsynced with my lips! Back here and get yourself strapped in for a landing! Repeat! Ten minutes until lockdown, people! That's an unacceptable response. Must I remind you who I am? What the hell is this? I don't care what your protocol is. You're here to help me, so that's what I want you to You're do. You're dismissed, Private. What's the problem, Von Bach? You better get your men in line, Captain Grant. I want my equipment out of storage. My Ark Hunters and I depart as soon as we land. The Earth Republic is in a limousine service. Your gear's locked up and we don't have time to dig it out. Now please, find your seat. No offense, Captain, but I think your orders were to do as I ask. My orders come from my superiors. People in Manhattan wearing uniforms, like this. And those orders are to keep you safe while you locate your alleged Arctech. Alleged Arctech? There is no alleged, Captain. Do you see this? With this Arc core and the rest of the technology that I'll find in the Bay Area, I will repair this world. And be its hero, of course. You're in a restricted area. Get to your seat. If anything happens to my gear, I'll send the bill to your superiors. Is that the an asshole from Mass Effect 2? Let's move, people! Time's ticking! What is this, a dorm room? Everyone, get to your seats! You two, let's go! Oh, God! Damn, she's ugly! No problem, Cap. Fuck. You, too. I guess he was supposed to be talking to me, but that was throwing me off. Their lips, it was like a ventriloquist dummy. Th those guys were scared to move their lips. In this world, in this new scary world of the finds, if you move your lips too much, you die. I don't know how or why, but I guess that's what happens. Um, character create. Species gender. Okay... Yeah, I'm not gonna be the ugly people that have a weird arm. And yeah, they all have weird arms. Shit. Uh, let's see. After the Defiance movement led to armistice, the factories of war were shut down, leaving many skilled human and Voton machinists adrift. Some became cityscape scavengers, hawking their makeshift wares at the markets while the elite foragers were able to graduate to much more profitable vocation of arc hunting. Well, I'm gonna choose human male. Oh, fuck. Let's see what we've got. Okay, that was the machinist. 
is the outlaw. For many trying to survive the violent post-Arkfall world, criminal activity wasn't a choice but a necessity. As the Earth Republic and the Votanus Collective helped society regain its footing, finding legitimacy became imperative for these outlaws. The gritty and sometimes unethical life of an Archana was the ideal fit. Survivalist. Not all humans and Votans were invested in war. Some found themselves on the fringes of society, living solely off the newly terraformed Earth. After Armistice, a handful of these survivalists found that their explorative talents made them impeccable Ark Hunters. Veteran. After the Battle of Defiance inspired the end to the Pale Wars, many soldiers were left trying to find a new identity on this Earth. Their combat experience, not to mention innate need for that adrenaline rush, made Ark Hunting a perfect career path for these men and women. I think I'm gonna choose... Uh, I almost wanna choose a survivalist, but... I usually go the route of just run and gun, so I would probably be best suited to the veteran, but I'm gonna go with something more interesting. Huh. Uh, right, old, dumb, and somewhat normal. I'm gonna go with somewhat normal. Alright, let's find something more fitting. Yeah, all the way over here. That's more fitting to me. Do they have anything that comes paler? <laughs> um, sorry you guys have to bear through me creating a character. Thank God there aren't that many sliders, otherwise we'd be here all day. Look at that, he looks like Zach Braff from Goat... No, not... What the fuck am I saying? Zach something from Ghost Hunters. I know his name was Zach something. He had the baby boo haircut, which is what I call when you have a tuft in the front like that. And the same nose. Well, I guess that's kind of close to my bone structure. Nose has always weirded me out, though. It's like there's only one normal shape. Like, how is that normal? That is not normal. And then hours later, you'll be like, what the fuck did I just make? The hell is this abomination? Why did I choose this face? <laughs> ah. Fuck. Fine. Oh, shit. Let's see what we got here. Eye shape. That is kind of close to mine, I guess. I'm blue eyes. Ah, oh, shit, I'm profiling myself. There are my eyebrows. <laughs> no! No. Hitler Youth? No, thank you. That's just. I guess that's the most normal. Although it looks kind of like a metrosexual emo kid. Fuck, fine. I'll go with this. Hair color. That's good. No facial hair, thank you. I'm not a hipster. In the future, everyone with facial hair is a hipster. And no tattoos for me. Blemishes. This is normally the point where most people give themselves a really cool looking scar, but I'm gonna leave that off. I don't want war paint on the whole game. So, we're good. Now let's give ourselves a name. My name is going to be Rex Power Colt. Let's see if they allow me to use this. This would be so fucking cool. I'm finished. Oh shit. Someone's already using it. Fuck you. Alright, then one more, one more. Um. Ah, I got it. See if you guys can guess this one before I type it out. Yeah, that's right. Jack fucking Reacher! Fuck! Now, Ark Hunter. Hold on, Captain. That one isn't wearing your beloved uniform. They don't take orders from you. Sorry about that, friend. We land in ten! Strap in! I never got to brief you on your ego implant, so we really need to- 
What the hell? Sir, they need you on the bridge. I think I will actually get to my seat. When we land, don't go anywhere. The ego activation could be a bit jarring without a proper briefing. Relax. It's just a little turbulence. Completely normal. No, it's not. We're all gonna die. <laughs> She's actually quite charming once you get to know her. Just my luck. I get the one that dies. Is this a loading screen? Yep. We're at a loading screen. 